Hey, uh, here are your disclaimers. Please enjoy. What do you mean it's not over? What do you mean it's not over? We sent him to therapy. That was a happy ending. What do you mean it's not over? I sit in the kitchen, tapping my foot on the floor tiles as I munch on cereal. My brother left me a, te a text message saying he'll be out with friends today and left before I woke up. As I chew on the edge of my spoon, I think back to the messages Leon and Vincent left me. Today is February 15th. I survived until the end of the game. Now what? If I remember correctly, all the endings where the protagonist survived, there was a time skip for a few months or years to briefly wrap up the full story. Both of them said they went to therapy. Huh? That certainly never happened in the game. I can't let my I can't let my guard down yet. It's so quiet today. It makes me anxious. Maybe I can find a book to read or something. Uh, well, what? Uh, <laughs> the hell? Why am I being prompted? Aww. Why do I bother questioning anything anymore? Huh. Well, let's see. Look for one in your brother's room. Look for one in the living room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, my brother's room. Surely he wouldn't mind if I intruded on his privacy. I've never been in here. Is there some special reason? A medium-sized room opens up in front of me. There's a bed, a table, a wardrobe, a shelf. It's a little messy on his desk, but otherwise, things are surprisingly neat. Hmm. With all that buildup, I thought it would be abnormal. I make my way to his bookshelf. Hmm. There certainly are a lot of interesting books here. How to Summon the Devil, a collection of real cryptid photos, a month as an alien prisoner. I'm going to find some fanfiction to read. I step away from the bookshelf and head towards the door. As I turn away, a purple and yellow teddy bear on his bed catches my eye. Huh? Huh. I don't know what drew my eyes to it. In the end, I take a nap for a few hours, and when I wake, the sky is already dark. Hey! Big bro! I'm back! Welcome home. Uh... Did you go into my room? Huh? huh? Where did that come from? N no? Why would I? Okay. Did you stay home the whole day? Yeah, it was a nice day off. <laughs> oh, great! I'm glad you finally caught up with all your schoolwork. Schoolwork?! No! I knew I forgot something! Uh, I still have a bit more to do. Can you order dinner for tonight, little bro? Um... Uh, sure. Great. Let me know when it arrives. Uh, I've got to finish my math homework. The next few days pass by uneventfully. Waking up, failing at making breakfast, barely catching the train and going to class. It's like regular high school life again. So much that I let my guard down, and of course... I opened the door, and Joe! What happened to you? Ah! Leon! <laughs> hey. I... Uh... You... You're covered in blood. Oh. He gasps and looked at himself like he just realized he's soaked in red. I, uh... This isn't... I, I didn't hurt anyone. Much. I might have punched one or two people. Or ten. Can I come in? Aww. Why did my brother have to leave school early on the day a crisis happens? I take a deep breath and debate upon what to say. <laughs> Instead, I just feel the panic build up as my mind races between my options. No. I could possibly let him in. But if I tell him no, will he get violent? He's covered in blood for crying out loud. What is he even doing here? I thought he said went to therapy. I didn't call back or message once. Uh, I flinch as Leon's face turns red and he gives me a sheepish smile. <laughs> and uh, can I have some food? I don't have the strength for this. Oh, okay, Um, come in. Leon sits nervously at the kitchen table as I spread butter on a piece of toast. No, no way am I letting him hold a knife. I keep my eyes on my task, mainly to avoid his gaze, which is burning into me. Finally, 
I can't add any more butter to the toast and just hand him the slice. <laughs> um, thanks. It's nothing. Huh? So, what? Are they starving you over there? Uh... No, I, um, I got enough to eat. I do miss eating with people. With you. I feel a tug at my heart. Damn it, stop looking so dejected. You almost appear harmless. Uh, how's therapy going? I ask it as a casual question while I continue preparing more toast for him. But Leon perks up. Oh. About that, actually. It's going pretty well. I stayed away from you for three days. <laughs> I'll work towards five days up to today. Should I prepare breakfast for him again in six days? We fall into an awkward silence that I don't bother to break. Hey. Do you hate me? Hey. Well, of course not! I answered that on impulse. Despite the obvious panic on my face, his eyes light up with hope. Aww. I can't take that back now. It'll feel like bullying. Besides, hate is a strong word. If I hated him for the things he's done, what would that make me? A hypocrite? Thanks. <laughs> Even if it's not true. Thanks for saying so. Did you come here just to ask that? Uh, Partially. Seriously? Yeah, I... I had time to think about you and... Me. And everything that happened. He trails off as he stares at his hands, resting on the tabletop. After everything, I deserve to be hated by you. Don't I? But thanks for... Saying you don't. Do you want more toast? Can I get one more slice? I nod and pull another piece of bread from the loaf before sticking in the toaster. Uh, the doctors treating me said I should take some medicine. Told them no a few days ago, but they're insisting on it now. You think I should take it? Huh? Why are you asking me? Come on, Leon, don't do this. I know, I, I just thought... Well, I'm scared. What if I'm no longer the person I was before? What if I... He takes a breath. I don't want to forget how much you mean to me. Leon. Do I have to... Damn it! Enough of the heart strength pulling! The... God, no! Like, that was supposed to be my happy ending! All the underrates, well, most of them, like, two out of three, which is good enough for me. Two out of three underrates finally went to therapy! <gasps> he should take the medicine. Like, honestly, like, th this is my honest thought. You should take the medicine. The doctor prescribed it to you for a reason, right? They know better than I would. Uh, but what if I... Hmm. If you forget about me? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good thing? Also, that's not how it works! It's what you try to change, right? Uh. Whether you take it is ultimately up to you, but this is just my two cents. You're going to therapy because you don't like who you were, right? So why bother preserving that person? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thank you. Leon eats the last piece of toast and heads out again, promising he won't be back until he's actually better. The conversation was less than 30 minutes long, but I'm exhausted. Don't I need to go to school? Did he really just come here just to have breakfast? <sighs> Sitting on the couch, I lean back and close my eyes. Only to hear another knock on the door? I think you should take the medicine. That's kinda... Is what I'm doing really not enough? Do I have to? The decision is yours, but I highly recommend it. Alright. But in the end, it didn't help, did it? I still made so many mistakes, and in the end, I just stopped taking them, and nothing had changed. Hmm. I hope it goes better for Leon. Did I make a mistake there? <laughs> Ow! Let's start bubbling out of the paper cut I just gave myself. Huh? The hell? I never had a paper cut bleed this much on me. Where, are you? Where do we keep the bandages? The bathroom? I check the bathroom, but I don't find any in the cabinet behind the mirror. I guess I can ask my brother. I make my way to his room, but the door is closed. Uh-huh. 
Oh, really? Is he talking with someone? <laughs> That's a relief. I don't speak Eldritch! <laughs> the, the hell was that? Who's in there with him? I put my hand on the doorknob. I would do that if I were you. Ah! The hell? I mean, that's not as menacing as, like, what I would do, which is straight up... I wouldn't do that if I were you. And, you know, that's my two cents. That's my two cents. I mean, like, that was more like a gremlin than anything. I jumped backwards, landing on the other wall of the hallway. Big bro... My brother walks out of his room with a concerned look on his face. Are you okay? My search through the room behind him. Huh? I don't see anyone in there. Big bro? Were you talking with someone? N no. Huh? Is something wrong? Um... What are you doing here? Big bro? Hey. I, uh, wanted to check on my little bro. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, eh? I feel a chill as he asked that. The warmth completely gone from his eye. Are you the actual Yandere here? Like, I have a sneaking suspicion that you had something to do with me getting isekai into my own goddamn, like, Yandere visual novel. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to believe you this once. I forgot we kept the medical supplies. I gave myself a paper cut. Uh-huh. I hold up my finger, and he leans in to take a closer look. That's a paper cut? You're bleeding so much! Sure! Yeah, hold on. I got some bandages in my room. W wait here. He disappears back into his room, leaving me standing in the darkness of the hallway, frozen in both confusion and fear. Darkness? It looks pretty bright to me. Not gonna lie. What the hell is going on? He returns before I can gather my thoughts and peels the bandage. Wrapping it around my finger and giving me a bright smile. <laughs> there you go, big bro. Be more careful now, okay? Hmm. Uh, okay. He gives me another innocent grin and returns to his room, closing the door behind him. Huh? Maybe I'm just imagining things. Right? The game's over. Things should be back to normal. Aww. What the hell am I saying? I still see the UI! <laughs> <sighs> All right. I frown as I feel a familiar buzz in my pocket and pull out my phone. <laughs> What's up, big bro? No. Nothing. I sure have been getting a lot of spam calls recently. Also, where's your face? Where the hell's your face? Huh? Spam calls? Yeah, they came from an unknown number, so I just ignored them. It's usually not a problem, but I'm always tired of getting... I'm getting tired of receiving them while I'm in class. It always catches me by surprise. Can't you just turn off your phone in class? I can, but... I look at the phone as it buzzes in my hand. Vincent's name on the screen as I hit the ignore button. I should. It's better to ignore both of them completely. Anyway, I'm going to head to my next class a bit early. I have a quiz. Sure! Um, sure! Um, see you later, big bro. I leave them with a smile. The noise is heavily muffled once I'm able to step out without a hassle. I can even hear my own footsteps as I walk down the hall. I stop and look out the window to see a clear and sunny morning. It's... It's lonely. The game's over and I survived, but there's nothing to distract me from the fact that I'm pointlessly walking in someone else's shoes. I continue down the hall. That's him, right? Oh, man! Kidnapper again! Huh? Look around me, but don't see anyone. Looks like the one in the photo. Ah! I need to get out of here. I ball towards the staircase. Hey! Get back here! I barely make it to the stairwell. When I feel someone tug on my arm, pulling me back into the hallway. Let go! I feel a pain on my neck and then... Why is he unconscious? It's a school. We didn't want him calling for help and making a bigger scene. Be glad we listened to your request anyway. This is Ow! Shut up, will ya? He'll wait momentarily. Look, he's stirring now. Fine, here's your payment. Get out of here. 
I wait to find myself sitting and sitting across from Vincent at a table in a garden. Everything is well manicured. The grass, the shrubs, are healthy green despite being February. Heat lamps are placed at the four corners around the table, keeping both of us warm in the chilly air. Mm. Hey, would you like something to drink? He nudges at a pretty white teapot as he says this. I don't miss the tremble in his fingers. Where do I even start? Ugh. Don't blow on me yet. Want some dessert to go with the tea? Or maybe you want coffee instead? How about a mimosa? Oh, right. I forgot you're underage. I remember. I... I'm 27. There's no way in hell I'm underage. Well, in this universe, maybe I am. Okay, I... I have a feeling I'm probably like 16, 17 in this, in this universe, uh, probably. See? I'm doing better. Huh? What part of this is doing better? You hired someone to kidnap me! Again! He flinches and averts his eyes. Mm -hmm. You... You weren't picking up any of my calls. Aww. You're not supposed to call me while in therapy! Besides, didn't you say it's up to me to decide whether I want to come see you? Well, yeah, but... Huh? Also, where is this place? Is this really where you're getting therapy? <laughs> yeah, it's the best, but... It's not the best, but it's the closest. Aww. Vincent, what did you bring me all the way out here for? Hmm. I know you're probably angry with me right now. Probably? You might even hate me. He squirms in his seat and averts his eyes, but his fingers continue to pull at the tips of his hair. I've never seen him so antsy. But I was wondering if, um, when I get better, will you be friends with me again? Like, start over? Sure we can. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. I don't mind. You <laughs> idiot. Yeah. Hmm. Start over. Let bygones be bygones. I chew on my lip and take a breath, crushing everything I wanted back down to the back of my mind. I don't want this. I don't want to remember that. I can't appear like that again. When you're better, of course. Vincent's hands shake, and the cup clatters against its plate. Really? Yeah, I... I don't want to hold grudges. Aww. Or rather, I don't want grudges held against me. My therapist always asks me to start considering what the other person would want. Vincent stands and walks in front of me, briefly making me reconsider my decision. Mm. Then he smiles at me. Thank you. I'll work my hardest for you. Our conversation doesn't last much longer after that. Vincent arranges for a limo to take me back home. I can't be mad at him. I understand why he was so desperate to contact me and ask me that. Anxiously wanting someone to return your feelings to you. To forgive you and allow you back into their life. I hope it goes better for Vincent than it did for me. The limo stops in front of my house and once I step out, the driver leaves without a word. As close as the hospital Vincent was staying at was, it's still pretty far away. The sky is dark by the time I return home, and the lights on our floor are already on. Huh? My brother's already home. He didn't message me anything. I walk up to the door while fumbling through my ring of keys to get the right one. Uh. It's... it's no use. I can't stop thinking about it. I dropped the keys! <laughs> Remy? Uh. It's fine. It's not like you have to decide now. The voices are muffled, and if I relied on my ears, I certainly wouldn't have heard them. Go in? I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, 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 I'll go in. Screw this. I what? That's not my intention! Screw this. I need to save my younger brother from Remen. Both of them turn to look at me. Mm -hmm. Um, hello. Remy wipes at her eyes and looks at me. Expression unreadable. Hey! Big bro! Welcome home! Um... 
Uh, sorry, we're in the middle of. Mm. It's fine. I'll get. I don't want to make her sad. I'm rolling it back. Yeah, I'm gonna stay outside. I don't want to barge into that conversation. Mm. Why is Rima here at all? Maybe I can find out what she's looking for if I wait and listen for a bit. It makes me sick. I don't care what it takes. I have to do this. Remy. Mm. Why are you so against this? Aren't you the one who starts everything? I don't hear anything else. Big bro. How long are you going to be out there, big bro? Ah! Sorry, I, I spaced out. Did you hear me? Um... Something like that. Come in already. My eyes drift nervously to Remy. Hmm. What's she doing here? Uh... We were just talking. Hmm. I'll get going. Remy. Yeah, you should- Why am I being rude to her? She's the only one who's been on our side this whole time. She's straight up a young gire. Yes, I know that. But like in, in this iteration of her, she's fine. She's like, she's great. I love Remy. No! Big bro. Mm. Thanks for talking to me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. You're coming back tomorrow? Uh... No, we have classes together. Oh. Rime gathers her things and leaves. I quickly lock the door behind her. Uh huh? The hell? Why'd you do that? Huh? Me? It's Rime. Why'd you let her in the house? Um, we had something to talk about. What's your problem? He trails off and averts his eyes. I promise that she's... She's... What's a polite way to put this? She's dangerous, okay? You should stay away from her. How's she any more dangerous than the others? The others? Is he talking about the other yandere's? Huh? But, huh? How would he know they're dangerous? I never told him about how scary those two are. No way! Ah, whatever. Got more homework to do. He stomps into his room, leaving me confused in the living room. That was strange. Huh? Come to think of it, Remy was originally one of the game's love interests, and now she's the only one left. Aww. Maybe I can't relax yet. I need to keep my guard up in case she's planning something. The Valentine's Day is over. The bell suddenly rings in the middle of math class, waking me up from an uncomfortable nap near the back of the room. Was there a fire drill schedule for today? Whatever. Everyone get your jackets and head out. Excited to get out of class, the students start chattering as they pile out of class. Ooh. I let out a yawn and follow them. The street is filled with numerous blue shadows. How many students attend the school? Huh? I knew it had a huge student population, but I shake my head. Well, if there are that many students here, the teachers won't care if I disappear for a few seconds, right? Seeing the teacher occupied with gossiping with another teacher, I slip into one of the delis around the school. Finally! A good lunch! I quickly get my order, then move to the dining corner to wait. And crap! Leon? He chokes on a bite of his sandwich and chucks down a bottle of water. Uh, uh, hey. hey! What are you doing here? Oh. Do, do you... Do you want something to eat? I, I'll treat you! No! I already ordered. As if on cue, the deli employee brings a plate of food over. Sitting together? No! Uh, uh, the employee places the plate down on the seat opposite Leon and leaves. Okay. Rude. <laughs> I, uh... Let's eat together. Like we used to. I look around the store, spotting a couple employees that and at least one other customer. Aww. Leon tries to kill me. How long would it take for police and ambulance to come? I'm not going to hurt you. Hmm. I wasn't. Well, I was. Hmm. I never thought you, of all people, would be scared of me, too. Please eat with me. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I let out an exasperated sigh and sit down, across from me. Leon's eyes light up. I hope I'm not making a mistake. What are you doing here? I missed eating here. Uh... That wasn't just... 
Here to see you. I wasn't just here to see you, you know? I miss school too. No. I'm pretty sure you still shouldn't be here. You're right. I did sneak out. I resist the urge to roll my eyes and pick up my sandwich to take a bite instead. Thanks for eating with me. I've missed this. Huh? You mentioned like we used to. What do you mean? Oh. You forgot? Hey. Oh man, I spoke without thinking. Uh, uh, I'm not mad. I mean, it has been a long time and... <laughs> I just never thought you'd become so scared of me. After all, back then, you were the only one who wasn't afraid of me. No matter how angry I got, no matter how violent, even when I hurt you, you still came back to my side. Yes, I took that for granted. I promise, I wouldn't be violent and hurt others so long as you're by my side. Mm. But I broke that promise, so it only makes sense that I should stay away from you. I'm sorry. Oh. But I promise... This will be the last time you see me until I get better. I'll take this seriously from now on. You were supposed to take this seriously from the beginning. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry about that too. We chat lightly as I finished eating. I'm still not completely sure I understand what happened between Leon and the protagonist in the past, but I'm able to piece a few things together. They didn't always get along. It was the protagonist who first clinged to Leon, and Leon later got attached and fell in love with the protagonist. I wonder why the main character was so desperate to stay with a violent kid like Leon. To my surprise, the students were all still milling outside the school. Fire trucks have driven through the crowd of people, its red lights turning the blue shadows around me into an eerie purple. Why are we all still waiting out here? So no, guess that was a real fire. Ah! Seriously? Told you I don't know, but we've never had to wait so long outside for a fire drill. And actual fire trucks don't usually come for a drill. I think we're getting an early dismissal. Huh? Early dismissal? Well, that's good news. Less time to spend in school, the better. Aww. I left all my books in a classroom. Maybe I can sneak back in. As I weave my way through the crowd to a less populated area, I spot a familiar shade of pink. Hey. Uh, Remy! Thankfully, she's still a good distance away talking to some blue blobs. I hurry away to avoid being detected by her. Why is there a version of my brother with an eye patch? Well, you know, bandage over the eye, but God! I hear the front door open and jump out of my seat. The bro, welcome back. R Remy? Are you sure you don't want this? <laughs> Little bro, what happened to you? I rush over and grab his shoulder, trying to peer under the under his bang to see his eye, but for sure, his left eye is wrapped tightly under layers of white bandages. What happened to your eye? Remy, did you do this? <sighs> the hell did you do? I didn't. She curls her fingers into fists, but I don't miss the streaks of dried blood on her fingernails. <laughs> Did you hurt my brother? Why are you here? Get out! Big bro. Stop! He steps out from behind me and walks up to Remy. I got into an accident during biology lab today. Remy was the one who helped me out of a dangerous situation. Huh? Really? I'm sorry. Why am I being so mean to her? I have no control over my character where it matters. Ah. Uh. You're M.A. You should probably go home. Mm. Good night. She speaks with finality and leaves the apartment. Oh, no. Are you really okay? What happened? How bad is your injury? Um. It's nothing. It really looks much worse than it is. I just accidentally nicked myself with my scalpel during dissection class. <laughs> In the eye? Um... No, just nearby. Remy was nearby and helped stop the bleeding. Ooh. I see. That's a relief then. Will you learn to let up on Remy? 
She's the only one who's been helping you. Um, big bro. Hmm? Uh... About Remy. You shouldn't... Actually, never mind. I'm going to my room to rest. Hmm. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. I will. And, uh... I know Remy helped you out this time, but... You should stop hanging... Why are you like this? God! You should stop hanging out with her. She's bad news. Sure. N noted. I'm pretty sure that was not a sure moment. I'm pretty sure it was not. He disappears into his room, and I'm left with a heavy weight on my conscience. Hmm. I know we're not really brothers, but I've gotten attached to him over the past few weeks. How does it feel like we're drifting apart now? Because you are such a stubborn lad! And that's everything that we missed. An audible sigh sweeps across the class. Aww. Well, of course, our teachers will hold extra lessons after school to make up for the missed classes during the fire drill. At least this time, I'm not alone. As the other students chat and gather their things to leave, I check my phone. Are you done with makeup classes? I text my brother. Yeah, left an hour ago. Huh? And he didn't tell me? <sighs> right. It's not as though he has to. It really feels like we've been talking less nowadays. Or maybe I just have no one else to talk to. I can't help but look at all the blue shadows chatting with each other. <sighs> Getting isekai really doesn't mean jack if you don't change yourself. I end up leaving without saying a word to anyone. Oh. I came here subconsciously. Aww. It's not like I can drink. Huh? I see a familiar face staring at me through the bar window. Hey. What are you doing at the bar? And why are you freaking out? You should be angry at this! I bolt down the street as I hear Vincent yelling behind me. Wait! Oh, hell no! I lean against the signpost to catch my breath. Why is the protagonist like this? Why are you like this? Why are you so insufferable? Like, you are... You're kind of, like, unraveling everyone else's, like, progress with everything you've been doing. Like, come on! We were so close to a happy ending! Mm -hmm. The hell? You run so fast! Aww. At this point, that's the only defense I've got. Mm. You don't need to defend yourself against... Since we're here, do you want to have dinner with me? No. You can't be serious. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm here alone today. I'm really not sure if that brings any relief. You can pick the place to eat. I... I just want to spend some time with you. Yeah. He's the only one who ran after me. I guess he's alone after all. Alright, fine. What's near here? Am I making the wrong choices? Uh. Fast food? Really? I can't afford fancy rooftop restaurants. <laughs> Could have paid for you. No. I didn't want to owe you. It wouldn't be if I pay for... I also didn't want you to pay for me. <laughs> <sighs> okay. He looks at the burger in disappointment. Come on, how's it any different from bar food? <laughs> the fries wouldn't be soggy and the burgers would come with more flavor. Mm. He has a point. Shut up. <laughs> To my surprise, Vincent lets out a laugh. You've changed. Huh? What makes you say that? Because I stopped talk because I stopped taking your shit? Well, that too. But I mean from when we were kids. I choke on a bite of my burger and Vincent pushes my drink towards me. Are you alright? Just fine. I calm myself with a large gulp of soda. Sorry. Did you say when we were kids? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. You mentioned you forgot. Well, either way, that should be expected. None of us were the w way we used to be. Huh? What did you think I was like? Hmm. A tall pushover who couldn't stand up for anything in his life. Ouch! Hmm. But you proved me wrong on that day, too. What happened that day? 
One day, my uncle and father came home in really bad moods. They ignored everything I asked of them. Then, the next day, they brought you and your brother to the penthouse and told me to play with you guys. Your father and uncle brought us together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't understand why. I still don't understand why. You remember what that was about? No. No. Well, we only played that one time, and I never saw you again. Since then. He trills off and averts his eyes. Huh? What? Hmm. Nothing. I just realized that after that, I started seeing less and less of my father, too. I was practically raised by my uncle. We're pretty close. Hmm. I could tell. You don't know anything about this? No. No. I can't even imagine what could cause a middle-class kid like the protagonist to end up spending a day with a rich kid. Besides, it's one day. I'm surprised Vincent remembered this at all. Aww. I swear, I have nothing to do with your father paying less attention with you. Mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Like I said, I, I had my uncle. <sighs> well, that's a relief. But yeah, that day, we ended up sneaking out, getting lost. And while I was bawling my eyes out, he asked for instructions and got us back home. Hmm. What a cliche. Hmm. You were my hero for a whole week. Apparently, I asked when you were coming back to play. A whole week? I'm honored. Hey, I was a kid. I wasn't even in grade school yet. That was a long time ago. I guess if I actually was the main character, I would feel honored. Anyway, I'm glad I met you again. We chat a little while longer after we finished eating. Vincent was getting used to the atmosphere and becoming more talkative. It seems like he had an odd family situation. His parents didn't care much about him. His dad was hospitalized somewhere and his uncle pretty much raised him. It's weird that the main character showed up in this knot of drama. Can that really be a coincidence? I'm home. I'm greeted by a silent house. Huh? I thought my brother left school before I did. Little bro? Hmm. I walk through the rooms of the house, but find no signs of anyone. Finally, I return to my room and text my brother a message asking where he is. Also, why does it look like there's someone in my bed? I'm out with John. I'll be back late tonight. Huh? Uh, okay. Nothing I can do about that. I tell him to be safe, then crawl into bed. I'm always wary whenever I see windows in a yandere dating sim. I always feel like there's someone back there. I let out a yawn as my morning classes finish up. At least it's Friday again. Huh? Why am I still here? Since I don't have yandere's on my tail anymore, assuming they don't make any more surprise visits, I should consider my plans for the future. Perhaps I should do some research. It's been nearly a month that I still don't know my own name. Oh no! Where is your face? Where did it go? Hey guys! Yo! Since Leon isn't around to hound me during lunchtime, I've worn my way into my brother's group of friends. Aww. Which feels weird, even in this isekai setting, because what's a senior doing with a bunch of freshmen? But strangely, all my classmates don't talk to me unless they need something, like a pen or an eraser. Oh no! Does the protagonist really have no other friends other than Leon? I just thought the original game didn't show the protagonist's other relationships in order to focus on the love interest, but to think he'd actually be friendless. Aww. That's a little sad. And kind of makes sense why he would end up in, like, one of these relationships. TBH. What's a little sad? N nothing. By the way, where's my brother? I think he's doing some work for the gymnastics team. Gymnastics? Whatever. Here's my chance. Hey. Can you guys help me with an English assignment I got? Sure. What do you need? It's a test to see how well people know me. Tell me everything you guys know about me. Okay. That's pretty simple. I take, I take out my notebook and pretend to take notes. You have a younger brother. You're a senior in high school. You got second highest grade in your year last semester. Oh yeah. Remy beat you by hair too. It's too bad for you that she jumped grades. You're... 
Five foot seven point nine five inches. Hmm. Couldn't you just round up then? Prove that I know a lot about you, right? You love cooking new recipes. Aww. This is just useless information I already know. And your favorite color is pink. No. Not anymore. How about my name? Isn't it obvious though? Doesn't matter if it's obvious. Name is obviously just your name. Aww. Why are they being so stubborn? Hey! Hey guys! Sorry I'm late. Ah! I flinch for my brother's sudden appearance behind me and drop my notebook. He picks it up for me before I can respond. Huh? What are you doing? Hey, we're helping your brother out with his he English homework. You're done with training? We weren't... We weren't training today. Just an inventory check. How's your eye? Uh... It's fine. Anyway, what's this? Notes on MC. What does that mean? I snatched the notebook back from him. <laughs> I left the book for my next class in my locker. See ya. I do not want to stick around and explain this. He knows. He knows. I, I suspect my brother of some shenanigans. I ended up running to my locker after all. Huh? Huh? Hey. <laughs> Remy! Fancy seeing you around. I mean, hey, how's it going? I mean, it's really good to see you. How's it going? Remy turns to me, startled as she steps away from an open locker. That's not your locker. Huh? Isn't that my brother's locker? Right, the one directly underneath mine. I've also never seen Remy here during dismissal. I don't think her locker is in this room. Why are you rifling through my brother's locker? Uh. Please overlook this. Even if I do, you're still going through his stuff. Mm. Can you let me look through his locker? I'll do whatever you want. Huh? Huh? What does he have in there that she's so desperate for? Hmm. Come to think of it, maybe I can get some answers out of Remy. She's smart. She's scary. She's not unwilling to do illegal things. Yeah. She might be a good bet. To top it off, she isn't the type to ask questions and gossip. Actually, I'll ignore this if you help me out with something. Okay. What is it? Hmm. Okay, this is gonna sound weird, but... Can you tell me about myself? Things like my family situation. What kind of person I am. Was before February. Hmm? Why? I think I have selective amnesia. <laughs> Uh, don't push at me! We're not going down that round Valentine's Day! It's over! White Day! Oh, no! I wonder... Shouldn't you go to a doctor, then? I want to solve this on my own first. So, can you do that for me? I can, but I don't know that much. We didn't talk much before February. You can find out more, right? You're good at looking things up. I... I am? I wouldn't say I'm particularly good at Googling, but I'll see what I can find. That's all I need. Mm. I think I've seen your father once. Huh? During parent-teacher conference last year, we were in math class together. Your parents never attend, so I thought it was odd that you were in the room with a man. Huh? So my parents actually exist. I guess they do contact my brother and me through text messages. I didn't see him very well, but I thought you didn't look very alike. What do you look like? A fancy, handsome gentleman. Reminded me of a lion. A lion. Uh. Is that good enough? Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay. I'll try to find out more for you on Monday, but if I can't find anything, I won't do more. Okay, that's fine. Honestly, mad respect. Mad respect. Like, you could have easily gone down a rabbit hole like I would, but, like, the fact that you're just like, you know, if I can't find anything, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna give in right then and there. Okay, like, mad respect, girl. I, I I adore you for that. I don't want to prolong deal with her anyway. She kneels back down and opens my brother's locker, rifling through it for a moment before pulling out a thin black book. Huh? That looks familiar. Thank you. Mm. And I hope you'll get your memory back. Oh, um, yeah, um, me too. She leaves the room. And I stand a little dazed by my locker, trying to digest this new information. Uh-huh. Big bro? Oh, little bro! How long have you been here? I mean, hey, to the nice weather. I mean, am I right? I mean, the weather today is just, oh my god, it's just weathering, you know? You, you know what I'm saying? 
I just got here. Why? <laughs> ah, nothing. Reme just left, so... Reme? What was she doing here? Uh, damn it! He steps around me and sees his open locker. Immediately, he drops to the ground to check his locker. He shifts around several books roughly before standing. No way! How did she take it? <laughs> what are you talking about? I said, just don't take what? What exactly did she take, huh, little bro? What exactly did she take? You let her take it? No, I don't know what you're talking about. And what is this it you're talking about, huh? Seems pretty suspicious, huh? You're lying. Ah! I, um... Ah! I don't have time for this. I need to get it back. He stomps out of the classroom, slamming the door behind him, leaving me shell-shocked in silence. Holy hell. It's been a few hours since school ended, but my brother still isn't home. Oh, no. I haven't been able to reach him since he ran off to Remy. I texted and called a few times, but there's been no response. John and Moria both haven't heard from him either, and I don't have Remy's contact information. So I've just been... Sitting in the living room, anxiously checking my phone. <sighs> I'm home. Big bro. What are you doing sleeping out here? You're gonna catch cold. He disappears into the protagonist's room and comes back with a comforter. Gently, he places it over his brother and crouches down to frown at his sleeping face. <laughs> Look at you. Sleeping without worry? Uh I'm sorry for getting so mad today. Don't worry. Everything will end soon. I hope so! Everything will be fine, big bro. <sighs> Is it really, though? It's <gasps> never that simple. I wake with a start and sit up on the couch. Where? <sighs> it's the living room. I fell asleep here last night. Oh, no. Did my brother ever... <sighs> The comforter pulling around my waist told me he likely did come home. Getting up and walking towards his room tells me I'm right. I can hear him lightly snoring, coming from the other side of the door. If they groan, I stretch and gather the comforter to bring back to my own room. Aww. My neck's gonna hurt for the whole day. By early afternoon, I've solved three out of the 50 map problems for my homework. Aww. It should be illegal to assign this much homework on the weekend. Or any day. I hear something from the living room. My brother must finally be up. Hey, yo, my little dude! How's it going? Finally up? <laughs> yeah. Slept like a rock. What happened to Remy yesterday? I resolved everything with her. Okay. What's that book she... It's resolved. Don't worry about it, big bro. He's pretty adamant on this. I drift to the coffee table where he has a deck of tarot cards laid out. He really is the fool Chun, he said. Hey! Anyway, um, what have you been up to? I give an exasperated sigh. Been doing homework all morning. <laughs> Never seen you struggle so hard with school before. Looks like my days of being a prodigy is over. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to do something else? Uh, yeah, definitely. I need a break. What do you want to do? Tarot reading? Hmm. How about you give me a tarot reading? Sure. All right, sure. He motions for me to sit across him at the coffee table and shuffles a deck of cards. All right, ask the cards a question. Huh? The cards? Not you. No way! Of course not. You're asking the universe, not me. The universe? I can't believe he believes those cheesy things. Whatever. I'll play along. Will I pass my exam next week? Take this seriously. I told you before. You need to... You need broad questions. Besides, even I know the answer to that one. Yeah. Aww. Maybe if I was your actual brother, then I'd pass with flying colors. But I'm not. Alright. I'm feeling a bit lost right now. How can I get back home to the person I was before? He looks at me curiously, but doesn't comment. Sure. Okay. He finishes shuffling and places the deck between us. Pick five cards. I shrug and pull down the top five. Upside down magician. Guy looks like Rin Kagamine. 
Upside down magician. Upright hermit. All right, got it. Upside down justice. He furrows his eyebrows and frown and keeps going. Upside down ten of wands. Upright four of swords. Huh? Okay, so what does that all mean? Something good, right? I didn't get hang. I didn't get the death card or any hanged men. Actually, like those two would have been better. Uh... <sighs> Neither of those necessarily mean bad things. Well, this first one, the upside down magician, means there's manipulation going on. <sighs> huh? What? Nothing. Keep going. Hmm. That's not a comment on me lying to everyone, right? Oh, well, manipulation and lying are two different things, I think. Um... Upright hermit. So. To get through your problem, you need to do some soul searching. Huh? That can mean anything. It's not like the cards or I can actually give an actual answer. Then what's the point? Uh... You actually want the reading or not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on. He rolls his eyes, but continues. This card is the lesson you should learn. Hmm. Okay. Um... But an upside down justice means unfairness and dishonesty. I'm not sure what that means for you. I thought you knew how to read cards. Hey! I'm still learning! Uh... Upside down ten of wands. This means you won't have to carry all the burdens anymore. Really? Isn't that a good thing? Probably. It's really up to your own interpretation. Huh? It's rather vague, don't you think? Uh... Yeah, that's the point. What's the point of a reading? Anyway, this last card is about what's to come. So the future! He rolls his eyes and as he taps the last card. Upright, four of swords. <laughs> this means you can look forward to rest and relaxation. Really? Can I? Can I actually chill out and not worry about getting killed in this, like, in the upcoming episodes? Please. Please. I, I, I just want to get to a good ending. Please. Huh? I want everyone to be happy. Come on. R really? We have two out of three Yandris out of my hair. That makes sense. That's great, then. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Can't misinterpret that one. He looks worried, though. I don't... I don't trust him. Well, thanks for the reading. <laughs> no problem. It was pretty fun after all. Huh? After all? Oh. Well, it's not like silly cards like these can actually tell the future. I enjoyed that more than I thought. What do you mean? I mean, wait. Do you really believe in this stuff? Uh... If you don't actually believe, why did I bother giving you a reading? Come on, it's just a difference of opinion. I'm thankful for the reading. It did put some of my worries to rest. Mm. It certainly does make me feel better. Like a good luck charm. It likely won't give me good luck, but it'll give me some peace of mind. He rolls his eyes as he gathers his cards, putting them back in a decorated box. Whatever. I'm gonna do some homework. He leaves before I can say anything. Oh, no. He seemed pissed off. Maybe I should apologize. I'll consider it tomorrow. So the sun shines on another day. Pretty nice weather for February. Today's the last day of February. Should I just accept this as my life from, out, from now on? <laughs> Big bro! Ready to go yet? Huh? Good morning. Um, go where? Uh -huh. You forgot? I guess. Um... Guess it makes sense since February is a short month. It's the last day of the month. Huh? And? Are you okay? We're going to hang out. We agreed on the last of the month. We're going to do something together. Whatever it is. Ah! Right, right. Huh? Some sort of brotherly bonding exercise? Hurry up and get ready. You sure are excited. No way! I'm not. There's just a new game I want to get and a new item from the dessert shop I wanted to try. Whoa, he's really excited for this. All right, got it. Um, Just give me a sec. <sighs> Hurry up. Come on, big bro, hurry up! I'm coming! I catch up with him at the corner of the street. Do I have to? Is this really necessary? Uh -huh. hmm. We just ate. Is there, like, any need to run to a dessert place? No. It's not like the dessert will grow legs and run. No way! I just want to do as much as I can today! Huh? What do you mean? Um... I... Uh, I have a lot of work coming up, so I want to have fun today. No. You're in high school. What sort of work would prevent you from getting 
from going to eat dessert. We can do that after school. Seriously, can't this wait till tomorrow? No, it can't! No way! Damn it, babe, bro! I'm just asking for one day! Can't you just give that to me? Huh? Why are you getting so riled up for? You act like I have to spend time with you today. Um... I didn't... I didn't say anything like that. Aww. Stop being so demanding! What's gotten into you? Huh? Spending time with me is demanding now? What? No! That's putting words in my mouth! So why are you complaining for? I did all the work to plan everything. Huh? Why would you plan everything? I thought we were just hanging out. Um... I just thought I'd do it for you for once. No. Well, you didn't need to. Hmm. I'm getting too agitated. Looking around, I spot a food truck selling cupcakes, donuts, and other breakfast sweets. I'm going to get a donut. You want anything? No way! A donut? But we're going to get dessert! No, you are. I just want a donut. He frowns at me, but doesn't say anything and turns away. Okay, maybe I'm just being petty, but I need some excuse to get away from him and have a breather. Do you want anything? No! He huffs and leans against the wall of the building. I'll wait here. I roll my eyes and walk off the sidewalk. The food truck is in the middle of the street. Sure, it's a big road, but I don't see the point in walking all the way to the crosswalk. Down the street at the crosswalk, the light's red. Red like his hair fluttering in the wind. Even from this distance, I can see the flicker of his earring, reflecting the sun, swinging as he walks. The person beside him smiles down at him, hands in his pocket despite wanting to trap him in a hug. No way. If only that day didn't happen. Huh? Wasn't that my wish? That's... THAT'S ME! Honk? The blare of a car horn takes me out of my stupor. All heads, including his, turns towards me. Towards what's behind me. The truck is still a short distance away. I can step back, and it'll run into the crowd, crossing the road. And then one of two things will happen. Either he'll get injured or I will, and we'll go to the hospital. But the outcome is the same. He'll still hate me. It's that day. It's all because of February 28th. Let me change it! That's simple. But I'll need something in return. Anything! I'll do anything! All right, then. Big bro. People are starting to talk, crowding around and screaming. He has to shove people out of the way to make it to his brother. 